Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video um, in calculating power in a balanced three phase system. And this is different because here there are two loads which are in parallel. So we have to understand this problem. So let's go to the question. Two balanced loads are connected to a 240 kilovolt RMS 60 hertz line. So first thing is 240 kilovolt is the line to line voltage 240 kV and its frequency is 60 hertz as shown in the figure. Load 1, this is load 1. It draws 30 kilowatt at a power factor of 0 0.6 lagging and the second one is draws 45 kvr at a power factor of 0 0.8 lagging assume abc sequence now the con uh, the concept of abc sequence i hope you know that voltage or current phase voltage phase current they differ by 120 degrees from each other from the reference what we have to find in the first we have to determine the complex real and reactive power absorbed by the combined load so this is the combined load then the line currents and the kvr rating of the three capacitors delta connected in parallel with the load so these are the three capacitors that are delta connected in parallel with the load and the purpose is to raise the power factor to 0 0.9 lagging so let's understand this uh, the power companies use penalty to the user or to the, especially to the factories if the power factor goes beyond a certain value in this case power factor 9 because when the power factor goes beyond, uh, lagging the power companies or the uh, power supply company they lose money because of the line losses etc uh, this will uh, read in your power analysis systems but just keep this in mind that the moment power factor drops beyond a certain value then the penalty is charged to the companies so your job as an engineer would be to improve the power factor by incorporating capacitors in parallel okay so we have to find the capacitor kvr ratings and also we have to find the capacitance of each capacitor so let's start uh, with the first question we have to calculate the complex real and reactive powers absorbed by the combined load we know that the power factor is also written as cos theta so for the first load the power is given we will now call it p1 power is given as 30 kilowatt and the power factor that is cos theta 1 is given as 0 0.6 we'll use this diagram to calculate now this power is given p will now need to calculate the reactive power so this is s cos theta and this is s sin theta and s is the apparent power which is same as complex power except that um, it, is, it is just the magnitude of complex power that is without angles. So from here cos theta 1 is 60 degree therefore theta is uh, inverse cos 0.653.13 and this will use to calculate the sine theta 1 which is 0 0.8 and now from here we will calculate the apparent power S1 so as the, as we mentioned p is s over cos theta therefore s will be p over cos theta so s is p over cos theta plugging in the value the apparent power in the first case is 50 kva and now we'll calculate the uh, reactive power q1 from here q1 is s sine theta s we have already found 50 and sine theta 1 we have calculated here 0 0.8 so plugging in this is the uh, reactive power we found 40 kvr so the complex power due to the load we can write 
S capital uh, and S board actually is written for the a complex power. This is not bold, this is apparent power. When it is bold, it is complex power. And the formula for complex power is P plus JQ. So P plus JQ. We have found a P, um, or it is given actually 30 kilowatt. We'll use that. And Q1 we found from here is 40 kVR. So we write that. So this is the uh, complex power due to load 1. Similarly, we'll calculate the complex power for load 2. Okay, now this load is uh, drawing 45 kVR, so this is Q, not P, and power factor is 0.8 lagging. So from power factor, uh, this is given, Q is given 45 kVR, and cos theta is 0.8. So as we did in the previous case, we'll first of all find the angle theta, then we find the value of sine, and we know that P sine is Q2, so from there we'll calculate um, or find the, from here, this is the formula, from here we find the apparent power, first of all, 75 kVA, and now we find the equivalent real power P, which is S cos theta 2, and 75 into 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is already cos theta 2 given, so the real power in this case is 60 kilowatt. So the total uh, complex power for load 2 is uh, P plus JQ 60 plus J45 kVA. So we have found the two complex powers and now we'll find the total complex power absorbed by the load. So we just add the two complex powers and this is the total complex power and we'll also write it in terms of polar because we need this angle. And this one, as we have seen that it, it is P plus JQ. So this is the first part is P and the second part is Q. Okay, so first of all, we find the power factor we using this angle for cos theta is 0 0.727 lagging. So this is the power factor for the combined load. Remember in, in one case we had 0.6 and in the other case we had 0.8 but for the combined the power factor is 0 0.727 and from here we can just write that the real power is 90 kilo this one and the reactive power is 85 kVR from here and now we will calculate the line current. So we will use this formula, we had seen this, that the apparent power is given by under root 3 V line into I line. From here, a line current IL is the S divided by 3 VL. And S, uh, that is the complex value was this. So mod of this will be 123.8, which is the apparent power. So we plug in the values and also VL is given in the question is 240 kV. So plugging in, we find IL 297.82 milliampere. Now this is the magnitude of IL. And now uh, if we write uh, for the phase current I alpha, so same value except that we have to add the phase angle. Now what is the phase angle from here we saw for in this case the phase angle is 43. Point Six. Now, since the power factor is lagging, that means, uh, or in, even in the inductive case, we know that the current lags the voltage, and that is why we are using a minus sign. And now for IB and IC, same magnitude, except that we add 120 with this angle, and we add plus 120 with this, minus 120 and plus 120 to get the three line currents. Now we come to the third part, we have to find the KVR rating of the capacitors uh, so that the power factor is improved uh, to 0 0.9 lagging. So this is slightly uh, difficult to understand, you have to focus, concentrate on this. Uh, let's see, uh, due to the inductive load, if the angle is let's say 45 degree, so the power factor will be 0 
and let's see when we add the capacitor it just pulls it up because that is the job of the capacitor to reduce or the capacitor angle is actually on the positive side so it will pull up so after the addition of the capacitor now let's see this angle theta 2 is 20 degrees so now the power factor will be 0 0.939 so the capacitor is reducing this angle and uh, improving the power factor now this was in terms of a current if you see in terms of a power then we have to uh, see this diagram for theta 1 this is the real power and this is the reactive power we need to minimize this reactive power and so uh, after we have added the capacitor okay from here we can see that uh, q1 actually we want to write this uh, find q1 in terms of tangent theta so we know q1 is sine um, s1 sine theta if we divide q1 by p so q1 over p will be uh, tangent theta 1 and so from here now we uh, write q1 in terms of tangent theta so it will be p times tangent theta 1 and now let's see this diagram we have added the capacitor the capacitor has brought it down the angle down the, the reduce the angle to theta 2 so this much reduction in we call is due to the capacitor so this is the a QC or the reactive power of the capacitor and now what is left is the net reactive power after the addition of capacitor and this one will also we can write Q2 is P tangent theta like we found this one Q1 is P tangent theta 1 but this will be written as P tangent theta 2 or we can also call it P tangent theta nu because in the book uh, there is used term new so I am uh, replacing this and the uh, theta 1 we will call old p tangent theta old so now you can see this reduction is actually from old minus new so p tangent theta old minus tangent theta new so this is the uh, qc value of qc Okay, so we had calculated the total complex power. This is the total complex power. And from here you can see that P is 90 kilowatt and theta old is 43.36. Now for the new, uh, we, we, we know that the desired power factor is 0 0.9. So cos inverse 0 0.9 is 25.84. So theta nu should be 25.84. And now let's see this diagram. This is theta 1 old theta and this is theta 2. And these formulas, what we need is to calculate QC. We uh, need this value. That we need P. We have theta old, we have theta nu. So take tangent of that. So we have all, all the required items here. So we'll now directly calculate QC is P, that is 90 kilo, tangent of 43 minus tangent of 25. So QC will be 41.4 kVr. So this is the kVr of the three capacitors. Now this reactive power is for three capacitors. So we'll calculate for one. So divide by three, this is the kVr for one capacitor. And now to calculate capacitance value from this, will be using this formula this was the formula for um, complex power we'll utilize this v square rms over z so for for our case now s is qc we are interested in qc so v square rms divided by z will be xc that is the capacitance or capacitive reactance actually so V RMS square over 1 over omega C which will become omega C V RMS square. And now from here we can write that C is QC divided by these terms omega V RMS square. QC we know is P 10 theta 1 or theta old minus theta 2 divided by omega V RMS square. And since the capacitors are delta connected as shown in this v rms in the above formula 
is line to line voltage so you know that in in case of a delta the applied voltage or the phase voltage uh, is actually the line voltage in case of a delta so now we have this uh, p tangent theta 1 theta 2 we had calculated which is equal to qc 13.8 13.8 k kvr or uh, 13800 um, and then we write to uh, for omega we write 2 pi and 60 and v rms is 24 kva or 24 uh, 24000 so solving this we find the value of the capacitance to be 635.5 picofarad so i hope uh, uh, with this understanding you will be able to calculate the values of the capacitance which will Im improve the power factor to 0.9 thank you